Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Friar Chuck here. Back with the Black Widow. Um, in the last episode, we did quite a bit. We um, went and got drunk off our ass with Sanguine, the Daedric Prince of Debauchery. Um, we bought a, bought a goat named Hilda. Um, Y'all know Hilda. And then we went and got Arachnia, the spider. So we now have a spider companion following us around because, well, I think the reason should be obvious. Um, we also completed one of our contracts for the Dark Brotherhood. And um, I realized that we weren't going to be able to get Mafala's weapon until I complete the first part of the story. So that's cool. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to take on Bleak Falls Barrow. She is... Whoa. We are inside the mountain. But yeah, she's had this mission of... Or she's had this for a while. She's known about it. She's put it off because she didn't really care. You know? It wasn't... She said, you know, it's not my problem. What do I care? I do think it's funny that they equip these arrows right before they die. Is probably actually a kill shot. I don't know for sure, but a shot like that would most likely do some pretty severe damage to your spinal cord. You know, it's kind of funny. Our Black Widow here is kind of, in the last few episodes, turned into the Nightingale. Um, but I think that's okay because it's we're using these for aesthetic reasons, and because they've been improved by the artifact overhaul mod. And we leveled up. So. Let's put a point into. Honestly, like, I only did that just, <laughs> just to have some fun. We don't need that perk by any means. But maybe we can kill somebody with some of uh, Arachnia's venom just by planting it inside of him. That would be fun. We're going to use these ebony arrows until they run out and then we will get us some uh, we'll start using our bone arrows. If that would have actually hit him, that would have been a definite kill 
shot, but it, it kind of went and went through his ear. Okay, we're going to try and poison this guy to death. Um, I'm going to have this equipped just in case. <laughs> that was very satisfying. Arachnia, do you have anything for us? Sweet. And our lock picking goes up. It was actually worth getting, too, because we got that healing potion out of it. Alright, let's let him use this. And death to the Stormcloaks. <laughs> he kind of died exactly like that. Uh, the other dude did. Okay, so the pattern here, as I'm sure you all know, snake, snake, and the last one is whale. It goes from left to right up there. Got anything for me? That gold will do just nicely. Okay, we've already read Thief. Skeevers. Potent paralysis poison. Oh, that'll be fun too. Just stick that in people's pockets and they just. <laughs> they just kind of stop. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna quick save here because this could be rather difficult. Unless I can get a sneak attack on it. I cannot because I'm bad. Okay, never mind, that was really easy. Can I kill him from here? Nope. Oh, I'm not going to waste arrows on you. I'm pretty sure he has just really low... Okay, yeah, we have been playing on Adept. Good. Right, where did my arrow go? 
Damn. All right, fine. Let's, um... Okay, for the first time in my life, I think I'm actually going to favorite apparel. Oh, we're in here. Let's put this on, too. Okay, and now we know which ones are alive and which ones are not. He's dead. Um, over here. Dead. Guys, we're going to kill Nazim, and I know how we're going to do it. Actually, we may have a lot of fun with Nazim. You can see all the ones that are standing that are standing up alive down on the lower floors. I don't actually mind the way it makes the uh, screen look here in this cave. One roll didn't get me through. Okay, this guy down here. He's dead. That guy there is now dead. None of these people should be very high level. <laughs> I'm not positive how this area scales. Um, it may scale based on when you pick up the mission and not when you actually like get to the barrow. As if that's the case, then it's going to be like level one. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, angry sir. Okay, first difficult enemy we faced. Brawler's fur bracers? Dog! Where have these been all my life? They look amazing. They've got like a horker tusk strapped to the end of them. So cool. Bone arrows. Elven Gilded Armor of Imminent Health. Right, we're getting good stuff out of this chest. Let's pop a quick save. Trend micro, do your scan some other time. Start time, 9.30, it's 10.30. You've already missed your window. Okay, it has scaled up because that's a frost troll, not a generic draugr. Did it. We killed the troll. Okay, this needs to go away. Close.
Okay, so I don't know why the um the sneak attack didn't trigger on the one Draugr we faced cuz it would have one-shotted him. Oh, we definitely have the uh, shadow stone back too, so we're going to take that. And I'm actually going to use it up here and turn invisible when the Draugr Overlord pops out. So that way I can hide and get a sneak attack off. Okay, Nightingale Gloves, Nightingale Bow. I don't think there's any more Draugr. But I'm not positive. Okay, no, there's not. We're actually going to put this on. And Cicero's gloves. And of course, as we all know, this does not change. So it's two turns on each one. Or bear, moth, bird. Or bear, moth, owl, if you want to be more precise. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Unfortunately, our... No? Our current player home does have a spot for the... Uh, for this stuff. And this is going to be, I think, the second or third shout that we've learned. Magic uh, shouts. Oh, we've actually learned two words of disarm. Um, dismay and marked for de and then a word of dismay and a word of marked for death. resist this. Don't resist that though, do you, bitch? You know, the worst luck in the world would be <laughs> if you were doing this You're, you were doing this mission, and this was the very first thing you did. Like, you didn't even go to Ember Shard Mine or do any of that. And you just come here, and instantly you get Meridia's Beacon. Of course, that being said, I have actually gone to Ember Shard Mine the first thing and gotten Meridia's Beacon out of it, so... I suppose it's the same thing. Glass Armor of Major Illusion. Yeah, we'll take that and we'll sell that. And, oh, I need to favorite this, too. Because it is... 
It will affect our sight. Okay, let's go to Riverwood, because we do know where that goes. Even though if we were just doing an honest roleplay of this, we have, you know, as far as the character is concerned, we have absolutely no idea where this freaking Golden Claw is from. Riverwood Trader. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Riverwood, uh, yes, an ornament. So, you I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Yeah, we're gonna steal it back. Thank you so much. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I wonder, out of curiosity, I wonder what happens if I were to... Steal the golden claw, sell it to Tanelia, and then buy it back. Is it still stolen? And now we go talk to the Jarl, Jarl Bolworth. Actually, we talked to Farngar. There's stupid ass Delphine. Kill you if I could, Delphine. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering the sword. You ready to beat Bald Barrow and back that? Nice work. Just send me a copy. It'd be funny if she walked into that and got stuck. I don't know if she will or not though. I don't know how that works. I don't remember if waiting hurries them up or not. No, it doesn't. The only thing that hurries them up is actually waiting. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast. I serve in my Jarl Balgra as steward. For sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. We've learned it. We'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Hey, now permitted to purchase property in the city. From my personal army. No, we're not going to do that. Come along. I would very much like to Once we become the Thane, no. y'all will see another effect of the um, mod that we have on. 
the quality of life mods in Skyrim, I think, are really good. Um, you know, just ones to make to make unique weapons actually feel unique and uh, improve the graphics, let you wear multiple rings. I mean, that's really all we have on. Oh, we need to return to Tanelia too. Okay. We can do that. We've got to go back to the house after this anyway. Now, I don't know how effective we're going to be against this dragon. We're going to shoot it full arrows and hope for the best. And we'll get Shadow Mirror involved, because why not? Our character just looks so cool. How strong is this dragon going to be right now? What the hell, dragon? First thing you attack is my horse. I wouldn't recommend antagonizing the thing, but you know, that's just me. Shadowmere's doing a good job of keeping it distracted. Come on, Mermelnir. Land, damn it. Or float in one place. Ugh. Got real low on health. Oh, we're over encumbered by six pounds. Um I gotta keep my poison cheese. I wonder if that effect works on the poison cheese. You should try it and see. Alright, when we get back into Whiterun, we're tracking down Nazim. I have something for him. Need you. I don't play looking to protect yourself or deal with damage. Don't forget to check inside the shop. All right, Nazim, where are you at? Oh, we have something we could go do for Amarin too.
I have more important matters right now, Lucia. Nazim will die by my hand. Well, not exactly my hand. Nazim will die by the hand of my spider. Eventually, after I've paralyzed him. I don't even know where his house is. Does he have one? Is he in here? We gotta bat we gotta root for the Battleborns because they are helping the Thieves Guild out. Alright, Nazim, are you in here somewhere? The lady said to check the Jarl's backside. Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Dragonborn. So it's true. Greybeards masters of the way the dragon if you you've done a great service for me and my city dragonborn by my right is Jarl. I name you okay so up there you saw the thane status added and we have a weapon called thum faudon or faudon faudon i'll also notify my guards we are So, what that means is we picked up a blade. Um, it is a Nordic greatsword. On striking a target, time between shouts is reduced by 20% for 20 seconds. So, it's a pretty cool effect, but... How much am I over encumbered by? Four. Okay. And now we've got our own personal donkey. But we don't want to talk to her right now. The only follower we need is Arachnia. find Nazim before the episode's over. I assume you it's part of the temple of Kinareth. The companions in your been hearing some strange tales. There we go, finally. Best to keep clear. Need anything else? Just let me know. Now we just have to find Nazim. We're going to wait 20 or 12 hours. So that this man spawns, so that we may vanquish a great evil from White Run. Yeah. Okay. Have any of y'all seen him? Oh wait, hey. Come to a love token, you said. Oh goodness me, you're a friend of Gabriella. Hmm. Oh well, yes, yes, I, I surely can. Please relax. Your destiny is dark. 
Oh, yes, so dark. But much of it has been fulfilled. You have found sanctuary, and you have companionship. A child of night and a stalker of... Wait. There's something else. A potential for adventure. It is the last resting place of an assassin of old. A dark... No... No, that's... Well, now we have another... No. Goal. No, please. Shoot, man. Oh, Braith. You're lucky I don't have the... I don't have that mod installed. There is a mod that allows you to actually kill children. Not that I want to actively kill children, but... Where is Nazim? It's a shame. Ha ha, we found him. Don't suppose you enchant the sword. The old blade can barely cut butter. And fun fact, okay, we're gonna save. You actually Winter Sand Manor. You can actually pickpocket while you are Should I put the potent frenzy poison on him so that everyone else kills him? We're going to experiment. You have committed crimes against oh, what? No, it doesn't work that way? What say you in your defense? Or maybe I got caught. Uh. Nope, it didn't work. <laughs> what the heck? Couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of left. Fine. I'll just kill him then. Assuming it works. May not do enough damage. Damn, why is he so strong? Also, the, this bow is continuing to not work, and it's starting to piss me off. Damn, that didn't do it either. What the hell, Nazim? Why are you so resilient? You know what? Fine. I just wanted the Venom to kill you. But no, no. You've brought me to this. We're going to make everyone else kill you. Never should have come here. <laughs> Stupid Nazim. I regret nothing. I work with my mother. It didn't go as smoothly as I would have planned. But we withered him down enough that the frenzy po po uh, potion killed him. And honestly, that was probably more fun. Carlotta was ready. She had that, she had that dagger drawn. She said, no, uh. You are not getting out of this today, sir. But 
but yeah. As you can see, that skill's not super useful. Um, if you get, like, frenzy potions and stuff, it's probably a lot better. Um, like we saw there. Especially using it on, like, one bandit, and then they go and attack everybody else. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yes, my... He was always a quiet lad, but he won't say a word to... You could speak to him. Draw out the truth. I would be immensely grateful. Fear not. Or dragon or Another one? So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. One day... <laughs> but I know about him. And about the war. More than he might think. I know that he still worships Talos. That he hates the Thalmar almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. That he worries about being chased from Whiterun. That he... That I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. This castle is old. Lots of places where you can overhear things. See things. And the whisper. She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I thought I was caught. But she's... But I can't open the door. In the basement. I bet she'll talk to you, too. Oh, yes, she will. I serve Jarl Baldwin. Hey, go away. Says, I'm too young to change the sword, so I practice with my fist. At last. I've been waiting for some And now we have to wait for this dialogue, which is unfortunate, but my will. The child is spirited but lacks agency. Regrettably, I cannot reach your plane so directly. But I forgive you for not knowing who I am. Few hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whisper. <laughs> I tug at the web of connections between mortals. Love. Hatred, loyalty, betrayal. The boy was good at sussing out secrets. You, I expect to take a more active role. First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it, and even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Okay, so we gotta go talk to Nelkir. Father says I'm too young to change the sword, so I practice with my fist. One of the new servants? You. Remember that I, like I told you. For some reason, how you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Barngar went missing, I promise you.
But we're not going to kill Farangar. But we will pickpocket the key. And we will complete the request of Our Lady Mafala. Arachne is still down here. Abomination against Ebony. To anyone, reading, to anyone reading this, beware this blade. It is hoped that the only people having access to this room should be the Jarl of Whiterun and his trusted wizard. If anyone else is reading this, please understand the magnitude of your folly. Turn around and never even speak of this room or this blade to anyone. It has corrupted and perverted the desires of great men and women, yet its power is without equal. To kill while your victim smiles at you. Only a danger of most foul could have con concocted such a malevolent and twisted weapon. But it appears that all who will it end up with those cra with the crazed eyes of those wild men who roam the hills chattering with rabbits. It is not to be trifled with. Not even the hottest fires of the Skyforge could melt it. Indeed, the coals themselves seemed to cool when it was placed within. We cannot destroy it, and we would not have it fall into the hands of our enemies. So we keep it, hidden, dark and deep within Dragon's Reach, never to be used. Woe be to any who choose to take it. Well. Excellent work. No. I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the ebony blade you may know. It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions. And so basically, just kill people. Master. Just kill people you're friends with with Seek it, and it'll charge up. Closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings. Will accompany my blade in the song of your grand. There's Nav Nazim still chilling there. Okay, let's see what this. Oh, now it's realizing that I have too much. Okay, they may have upped the. Uh, the overall health absorption enchantment on it. <laughs> okay, so we have that weapon, but we're not going to be using it. Whatever, get rid of him. go back to the house and then we'll go talk to Tenelia. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're probably going to go do Where is this one? Deep wood readout is way over there. We got a dragon's bridge for that. That salmon is quite large.
Okay, we are going to put our... Any Thane weapons we have, we're going to put over here. That's not unique enough, sorry. wind shear put it in there <sighs> and this uh, we're gonna come talk to Tanya and that's gonna pretty much do it for the episode oh, my throat's starting to hurt I'm getting a cold or something, or I've got bad allergies, I don't know. I was supposed to go work tomorrow, but it is, uh, it's gonna be cold and nasty, and luckily it got called off. So you're bringing Welcome to the cozy little family. I yeah, good. I'll contact some of my people. Good job. Here, let me give you something for all the legwork. Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Okay, so in the next episode we'll go uh, find that assassin of old to see what he's got to give us. Maybe it'll be something good, I don't know. Um, but otherwise, that's going to do it for the episode. Um, we'll figure out more stuff to do in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, Always a pleasure, boss. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. This is Friar Chuck saying bye-bye.